extreme weather. Okay, this one actually blew inside. It wasn't leaking out here. You could hear it actually leaking. Because so this one it just basically started gushing. I've never seen anything gush out before like this. Um, so the tent said it was leaking, and then I found out it was actually gushing. It was almost like turning one of these things on halfway. You hear it spraying inside there. I've never heard any uh, water heaters do that before. But anyway, first thing we need to do is uh, need to of course shut the gas off, disconnect the line. Then we're gonna drain the tank. So you get one of these little hoses and hook your hose on. Uh, disconnect your other lines and we can drain the tank and open the relief valve so the water can drain out through the hose and see if you can get a little siphon going on the hose see if you can get to go downhill that That makes it a lot easier if you can drain the tank. Nothing coming out yet. Okay, so this one's drained. Got our jacket off. Just need to pull it out of here. Uh, like I said, this one actually looks like it was leaking inside that whatever the fitting for this. It was definitely gushing out the bottom. There's our new one. Green Professional. Energy Guide. So now what we gotta do is pull this one out of here with my handy dandy dolly. Put that other one in. <laughs> okay, there it is. Uh, it's pretty much in place. Good pipe wrench definitely comes in handy here. Now we have, uh, we have these, uh, this is the inlet. That's the hot, that's the cold. So this is the cold, this is where the cold goes in. That's where the hot goes out. So, what we need to do is put some pipe dope on these or thread, uh, is it Teflon tape? Hook that up. And hopefully we can use these. They weren't leaking before. So hopefully we can reuse that Shark 5. If not, we'll have to get a new one. And so, this one actually has a this is a uh, sort of whatever drip tube in case you have any water in your gas it goes down here and so anyway um just have to hook that up and uh, we have to open this up and then we need to prime the tank so basically we'll prime the tank leave that open until we hear it starting to come up to this level shut that off uh, once we turned the water on and filled it like three quarters of the way up, shut that off. Uh, the tank is primed. Just need to hook up our vent and our straps and put our blanket on it. Now we'll be good. Okay, so let's see if I can get this open here. So that little blue arrow thing right there. That blue arrow is spinning around. When you got your water shut off, you got problems. This one actually has a turn off valve in here that I, I can just turn off. So I need to turn the water off so I can hook it, hook it back up. And this valve is actually defective valve. Okay, water's on. You got the line hooked up. No leaks. I don't know if that PEX is normal kind of stuff or not, but that's the way the old one was, so we're just leaving it like that. And, uh, so it's important to make sure that you don't have any leaks anywhere on these things. Not at this point, we don't see any leaks. We do have water. We have water. And so, Guess next thing in be is make sure it's gonna fire up. Put these straps on. Ideally, it should have a vent or whatever over pressure. Hook that vent up, and we're done. Okay, so here's your um, lighting instructions. Basically, pretty easy. 
Here's the red dot right there. The red dot. You turn the uh, pointer, the knob to the red dot. That will be pilot. Now, if you're just hooking this thing up, you need to make sure that you bleed the line because it's not immediately going to spark up and light uh, until you bleed this whole line. And then once you bleed the line, pretty good. Then you can push the sparker. And this sparker here, right there. Look in here, and you might see it right there. You can see that we haven't bled the line quite enough yet. So you just have to hold this for like a minute when you're putting the new one in. What happens is sometimes the thermal couples will go bad. This is actually a newer style. Sometimes the newer style, these vents will get plugged up and cause problems. Uh, and uh, if these vents at all, some of the vents they have on the bottom and some of them underneath, if they get plugged up, then you'll have problems. The pilot light will tend to go out on it. Um, some of these have thermal piles or pilot generators, which generates like a, whatever, 7 millivolts, and it talks to this valve here. And uh, some of them will actually have a thermal couple. This one has a thermal couple. The thermal piles or the ther thermo generators, pilot generator, will have wires. And uh, basically you have to disconnect that, these things in order to get inside there and change your thermal couple or your thermal pile. So there's the, there's the pilot right there. So that should, uh, you got to hold your finger down on that for about a minute so that it talks to that thermal couple and then it tells that valve that you got a flame there and then that uh, it's okay to open up the main valve. Uh, make sure that you have water in the tank. This one I've already uh, filled up with water. You open that valve there till it fills up. And so we held this uh, down for about a minute. And it should stay on. Okay, it's on. It's staying on right now. So now we just turn this to the on position. And there it is. And you can see this thing's going to be working fine. I like to just tap it and watch the fireworks a little bit. Uh, this one's all pretty much ready to go at this point and we're going to put it on hot position okay so this is it's like 10 minutes after i first turned it on and so don't see any leaks no leaks Got hot water. Should be good. And we got it set on the medium heat. That thing's kind of broken. So, we should be all good now. Hallelujah. And once again, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.